Hi, everybody. Uh, I just wanted to take a little bit of time to check in with you uh, now that we're going into Easter break and you are doing some research on Lady Susan and will be moving into drafting your smaller annotations to be included in our digital edition. Okay, so I wanted to just kind of um, say hello and uh, you know give you a little bit of encouragement. Um, we are nearing the end of the class and uh, also just go over um, what the next couple of assignments are going to be so that uh, you know how important it is also to um, come and talk to me about your research, right? Uh, so um, I hope you enjoy my new fancy Zoom background. If anybody knows what this is, uh, what this is a reference to, um, send me an email. Uh, I want to enjoy some solidarity uh, with you. So um, let me share my screen with you. And then what I'll do is I will sort of um, talk to you a little bit about um, the individual annotations that you're going to be doing for uh your letters okay so remember that there are two annotation projects that you're doing one is the annotated bibliography of three sources that you're going to use the library databases to find okay um and that's the subject of a different video there's a different discussion of that but you're also going to be doing annotations of specific sections, little phrases, words, ideas that you come across in your letters that are assigned to you from Lady Susan, okay, um, that you think other students really need a little bit more information about in order to fully understand the book, okay? So, um, so I'm gonna show you um, what I'm looking for, and I'm gonna do a few searches to sort of show you how you can go about using a combination of the library databases and the, the web right, out there um, to help you find your um, materials to help you annotate your letters, okay? To help you draft those, those, those short annotations for your letters, okay? So, um, so let me share my screen with you and um, I'm just gonna kind of talk, you know, as I normally do <laughs> over the screen share, okay? Uh, let me see which window it is. I think it's this one. Okay. Um, all right. So this is our Canvas page, right? Uh, and you are going to be asked to do some work um, that will be due to Canvas and this discussion board by April 16th. Okay. You're going to watch the video that I'm preparing right now. <laughs> I'm going to post it here. Uh, and then what I want you to do is have a dis create a discussion board uh, post in which you add um, four to five of your annotations of moments in the letters that you think are particularly important and need to be, um, you know, explained. All right. Um, each student should post with their own four to five annotations, right? So, so even though you might be in a group of two or three students, okay, you're still going to be doing your own four to five annotations, okay? Um, so uh, let me show you what this looks like in finished form, okay? Uh, and then I will show you what your discussion board post should kind of look like. And then I'll show you how to find uh, some materials online to help you with your annotations, okay? So, because uh, remember, all good annotations need to be sourced, right? They can't just be stuff you make up out of your head, right? You have to kind of be assured that, that and other people have to be able to be assured that, uh, that these annotations are, are good and reliable, right? Um, this was, if we remember, one of the big problems with that grade saver text that I asked you all to take a look at um, that showed, that had a lot of information about um, the Blake poems. Okay, nothing was sourced. We had no idea whose ideas these were, <laughs> where they got them, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So we are gonna not do that with our annotations. All right, so let me go to our version of Lady Susan. Now, um, I have updated our um, draft version of Lady Susan. So this is live now on uh, the website that um, we are going to be contributing to, okay? Um, so I've updated this. It should be um, updated with all of your corrected XML, the XML that I've corrected for you after I made comments and gave that back to you, okay? So you should be able to see your letters up here. Um, and any letters that have not been 
um, corrected in XML or have not been submitted to me yet in XML will look like this, okay? So you can tell um, there's not a lot of, of um, uh, you know, formatting and everything. So this is letter um, 14, okay? You can tell that it's all wonky, okay? Versus, say, letter 10, which has been done, which looks the way it's supposed to look, okay? Um, all right, so um, here are the letters one through seven that I've done, uh, and I'll show you a few sample annotations, right? Um, here's one, lead them too much into society. So here's an annotation that I've drafted that draws on the OED, the Oxford English Dictionary, okay? Now this is just a pretty simple gloss. It's just like a kind of explanation of what this word means during the time period, okay? What this phrase means, okay? Um, so, uh, so that's, um, so that's an example, right, of an annotation, this right here, okay? This one is only using the OED as a source, but there might be other, um, annotations that have more robust or, or, um, uh, you know, more, more essayistic sources, right? Maybe an encyclopedia entry or a journal article or a book from Google Books or something like that, okay? So, these are the annotations that you're going to be working on writing, okay? Now, um, you are going to be producing draft annotations. Remember, we're going to go through a, re a revision process to kind of make these stronger, okay? But, um, but on the 16th, you're going to have some draft annotations due, okay? So if we take a look at this uh, assignment, oops, I'm sorry about that. Um, I went to the wrong place. Um, let me just back up a little bit. Okay, so um, so here are our, uh, here's the, the uh, assignment for the draft annotations. I clicked the wrong thing. Um, here's the discussion board post. You're going to be posting your annotations here to this discussion board, okay? Um, I've created a model for you to follow. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of walk you through this, um, and I'd like you to read all of these. Okay, it looks like a lot, but they're just they're four and um, they're five annotations. Okay, two from letter one, two from letter two, and two and one from from letter four. Okay, so I've identified a bunch of places um, that I think might be useful to turn into annotations in my letters one through seven, um, but what I've done here is just drafted five of them. And these are the ones that I think are the most important annotations, okay? So in letter one, this idea of going too much into society, okay? What I've done here is I've indicated that this is the phrase that I think needs explanation, all right? Um, I want you to write that phrase down here. This is why your notes, remember that project that you did, will, was more important, okay? And then here's my annotation. According to the OED, this means going out and mixing in society as opposed to remaining in one own home or domestic circle to appear regularly at private or public entertainments, parties, etc. And then I've got a citation here, okay? Um, and this, when I click it, will take me back to the OED, which is my source, okay? Um, the 7D here is the, the, the exact number and letter of the, this particular definition that is that is most relevant, okay, to this phrase, okay? um, So that's an example. Here's another example, okay? In letter one, um, Lady Susan is talking about sending Frederica to one of the best private schools, okay? And so I was like, what does that mean, all right? So I did a little bit of research and I drafted this annotation, okay? Um, according to a book called Women's History, Britain, 1700 to 1850, which is our time period, right? That's when this book was written. Uh, the education of girls was becoming a hot topic. Schools prepared girls for the lives they would lead within their class while also seeking to improve their minds by teaching, quote, good morals and behavior. And then that's a citation from this book, okay? Boarding or day schools for girls were often used for finishing in the genteel arts needed to secure a successful marriage. And that's a paraphrase, right, from page 43. Um, the cost for fashionable boarding schools in London, like the one Lady Susan sends Frederica to, was very high, often as much as 200 pounds a year. A typical curriculum consisted of, quote, needlecraft skills, the art of polite conversation, dancing, music, drawing, painting, French, maybe Italian, and subjects with which to make polite conversation. Only girls from working class families would be taught more practical trades, but the education of women in the 18th century differed greatly from that offered to young men. And then I've got a link here that takes me back to the source, okay? 
So these are what your annotations, your draft annotations will look like. Okay, this is my draft. I already see a lot of stuff that I could condense here, that I can maybe move to a different annotation, whatever. This is just a first attempt, okay? So you'll notice that there are two parts to this. You've got the letter number, sorry, three parts. You have the letter number and the phrase, okay? And then you've got your actual annotation with a link back to your source, okay? Um, so that's what I want you to do with this discussion board post, okay? So as you read your letters and work on your XML, I want you to begin to think about which phrases you think are most important to be explained, okay? And then what you're gonna do is actually go and find some information, right, um, that helps explain those ideas. So I've also done a sample annotation for this phrase in letter two, four months a widow. What does that mean, right? Uh, I found this encyclopedia article um, widows and widowers, right? Um, you might notice that what I've also done is added a little bit of extra information here, like about other sources I found. I also found this interesting site written by students um, that has some good sources. And maybe, note to self, I want to find a picture of a widow in mourning from the time period that we're talking about. Um, the next one I did was from letter two also, and it's that issue of um, guardianship, okay? Um, and again, I found an article about guardianship in the 18th century, and I wrote a little summary of what, a gu what guardianship means, okay? Um, and here I linked to another source that gives a little bit more information about women and the law. Okay? Uh, and then the last uh, annotation that I did was from letter four, um, this word coquette. Okay, um, and here again, I use the OED, right? Um, and I, I should put a link back to the OED here, um, which I haven't done yet. That would be something I'd have to do in revision, right? Um, and I've also added uh, another source that's a book and a link to that book that I found on Google Books, okay? Um, that I think might also be interesting for people to check out. Okay, I haven't read this whole book, right? Um, you don't have to read the whole book, but you should know that it's a good source that people might want to turn to to find more information, okay? Um, and also I've made a little note to myself. I think I'd probably like to find an image of a coquette in the 18th century also, that like that would be a good addition, okay? But I haven't done that yet, okay? Um, and you'll notice that here I've got a link to say this book, on um, Google Books, okay? Uh, so this is what I'm asking you to do over break by class time on April 16th, okay? Watch the video that I'm creating right now and post a discussion board post with four to five draft annotations, okay? I did five of them here. You can do four if you like. If you wanna do more, feel free, okay? Um, all right, so um, let me uh, show you how I might find some information about this, okay? So I'm going to show you where to go to find the OED, okay? You already know this um, because you've already done your, your notes. You've already been taking your notes where I asked you to do this, but um, just in case you forgot, okay? We're going to the library webpage, and we're going to Articles and Databases, and then remember we're going to Electronic Reference, okay? Because a dictionary is a reference book. And then we're going to grab the OED, the Oxford English Dictionary. So I'm going to look up the word coquette, and I'll show you just how to find that. You're going to have to log in through your Marymount ID. Now, this has a noun and a verb, OK? So we are not using the verb form of coquette. That's not the way it's referenced and used in the, in the story in that, at that moment. It, it's being used in the noun sense. So what is a coquette? Not, does it, not what does it mean to coquette, okay? So we're looking at the noun. So I'm gonna click into that noun entry. And I notice that it's actually really short. This is a super short definition, okay? I'm gonna take a quick look at the dates here. And I know that um, Lady Susan was written in the late 18th century. So this is a version of coquette. It's a meaning of coquette that is current. Um, and here is the definition. A woman who uses arts to gain the admiration of men for the gratification of vanity or from a desire of conquest without any intention of responding to those feelings aroused, like without any intention of marrying the guy. Um, a woman who habitually trifles with the affection of men, a flirt. Okay, so that's the, that's the definition from the OED, and that's the way that it's meant in, um, in Lady Susan. Okay, so that would make 
this that would help me make this um, this part of the annotation. Okay, but I kind of think that the that this might need a little bit more research. Okay, so I'm going to do um, a search. Okay, there are a couple things I can do. One is just a regular Google search. I'm going to look for coquette and 18th century. Okay. And here in the first page is a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, incidentally, here's an article that I that I wrote revi reviewing um, one of um, of these books. Um, and here's the book that I ultimately chose to include for like additional reading. Okay. So there's a ton of materials out there, but this one, our, our coquettes, and this name, Teresa Brown Schneider, right, keeps coming up. Like it's really the whole first page. Okay. So that tells me that this is probably a good source, right? Um, so I'm going to click into it. Oops, sorry, that's not the one I want. Um, this one. I'm going to click into this, but this is at the University of Virginia. It's not giving me a whole review of, of the book. Okay. Here's the, here's the abstract. All right, and this tells me that this probably would be a pretty good source. Um, so what I want to do is find this in um, Google Books, right? So I'm just going to copy the title, right? And I'm going to paste it, and then I'm going to look for the Google Books version, which I find here, okay? Here it is. So now I can preview it, okay? Here's the book, right? I can look and see that, uh, that the introduction is in general about coquettes. It's probably going to be a great source for me, right? So I'm going to use this as a as an additional reading, okay? Um, okay. Uh, so so that's one way that you can go about finding good information for your annotations, okay? Um, use the OED, do a general Google search. The other thing you can do is um, go back to the articles and databases and go to electronic reference and see what the encyclopedia has to say. Okay, so here's Britannica Online. I'm going to click into that and I'm just going to search for the word coquette to see what comes up. Okay, this is about Hannah Webster. It's a book that she wrote, so that's not what I'm looking for. Um, let me see, I'm not seeing anything immediately right here, so let me go to the second page. Okay, there's no encyclopedia entry that I can find here that's really, um, really accessible. Okay, so, you know, you've got to watch out for that. Okay, the encyclopedia may or may not be a great place to go. Okay? So that's one example of research. Um, I've also done this annotation here for, um, uh, let me see, four months a widow. Okay. Um, so I kind of want to know what widowhood meant in the 18th century, all right? Now I could look this up in a dictionary, but a dictionary is just going to tell me that a widow is a woman whose husband died, right? Um, so that doesn't tell me anything about the local color, doesn't tell me anything about the history, doesn't really tell me anything meaningful that will help me understand what the heck is going on in Lady Susan, okay? So I want to do a little bit more digging, all right? So um, I'm going to start very broad, right? And I'm just going to do a Google search for um, um, widows mourning an 18th century or just widowhood in the 18th century, okay? And this is the first page. Now remember, the, a first page does not everything make, okay? There are interesting things that happen on later pages, okay? And, I, and I'm going to show you why that might be the case, okay? Um, so the very first thing that pops up is this source, okay, Widows in 18th Century England. And I look at the URL and I see this is from the University of Michigan, um, student projects, make your way, okay, and so this is a wet, one part of a larger project that students have done, right, and here's the page, okay, it's about widows in the 18th century, okay. Um, this has sources that are used, so you can click into this and you can see that there's a source being used here. You'd have to do a little bit more digging to go and find the bibliography and all of that sort of stuff. But um, this is an interesting source, but it is a student project, okay? Uh, and as you do more and more research, you will get a feel for what a student project looks like versus what a professional project looks like, okay? Um, here's another web page, a comparison of the status of widows in 18th century. This is a thesis, okay? So this is another student work. 
Um, it's not peer reviewed. It's going to be super long. Look at this honking thing, right? You don't want to read all of that. Please do not use thesis, theses, okay? Thesis projects or dissertations, okay? So I'm scrolling around, looking, looking, looking. The history of widowhood, a bibliographic essay, okay? Maybe. I don't really want to read a bunch of other, about a bunch of other sources. I want to find a good source. I'm going to go to the second page. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go to the second page and I'm going to keep looking, okay? Um, widowhood options, requests to widows, widowhood. This is not, have, doesn't have much to do with the 18th century, okay? Let's move on to the third page. Okay. Um, interesting. Here's a book, Women's Lives in 18th Century England, right? Um, that looks kind of interesting, right? It, or maybe it is not a book. Mm, okay, no, this isn't a book. This is a um, this is a, a course that's being offered, right? Um, okay, so it gives me some sources here: Women's History, Britain, 1700 to 1850, an introduction. I might want to look that book up. Okay, um, let's see. Anything else that looks interesting? Okay. Here is a library website called Women in the Law, okay? And this is from the Harvard Business School, Women, Enterprise, and Society. Here's a webpage called Women in the Law. Um, this is kind of interesting. It tells me a lot about, uh, just gives me a very basic introduction to what married women, what, what married women's lives were like in, according to the law. I wonder if it says anything about widows. Okay, widows. Okay, so it talks a little bit about that. Maybe that's of interest to me. Okay, I want to find something that's that's better than this, though. Okay, um, so uh, let's do let's do another search. Okay, um, let's go back to uh, let's go back to the web. Okay, and let's do another search for. Um, century widow let's see um, we're getting the same thing slightly different things okay um, let me see if I can find a an encyclopedia entry widow encyclopedia let's see black widow is definitely not what I'm looking for okay I'm looking for women right <laughs> let's try widowhood Okay, so here's an encyclopedia.com entry. Okay. Um, now this is really focused in the United States, okay, um, which I'm not sure I want, okay, but this is getting me in the right direction. I wonder if this has any other sources. Widows. Widows and widowers. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Widows and widowers. Okay, demographics and the meaning of widowhood. This is more capacious. It's both France and Europe and England. Talks about economics. Okay, this is looking like a really good source for me. Okay, child custody, the privileges of widowhood. It's also quite a robust article. Okay, it's nice and long. It talks about mourning as well. Okay, so this is probably the article I'm looking for. Okay, it's general. It's an encyclopedia entry. I had to do a little digging, a little playing around, right? I, I declined a few um, articles because they weren't exactly what I was looking for. Um, but this is, I think, what I'm looking for, all right? So I'm gonna read it, right, browse through it, and then I'm going to write an annotation, okay? According to a comprehensive encyclopedia article on widowhood by Sherry Klassen, okay, who's this, here's this person, right? Um, okay. uh, when a woman's husband died, the widow was usually negatively economically impacted, but widows, unlike wives, had a higher degree of authority and power over their own economic lives and that of their children because they became legal heads of household and could be seen as threatening to the patriarchal order. 
Uh, in addition, widows were often depicted as dangerously powerful, sexual, because they weren't legally owned by a husband. Women were expected to mourn publicly for prolonged periods of time um, for their husbands by, quote, withdrawing from social life and wearing particular kinds of clothing. Um, okay, so that's basically a summary of key points that I found in that article, Widows and Widowers, okay? Um, I wanted to get a general sense of what was going on with this idea of widowhood that would be relevant to Lady Susan, okay? And then I say, I also found this interesting site written by students, and maybe I wanna find a picture of a widow in mourning, okay? So, um, so that's, that's the idea, okay? You can do the same kind of thing for other articles, right? Like here is, um, I wanna find something on guardianship, right? So guardianship and 18th century. Okay, um, and here's one called a book, sorry, an article, it's on JSTOR called um, English Child Custody Law, the Origins right, of ju ju Judicial Intervention in Paternal Custody. Okay, I'm probably not going to use all of this, but the introduction gives me some good information about um, the history of guardianship and what that actually meant. Okay, so this is what I used to create my draft annotation here. Okay. And notice that I've got um, a link back to that article, okay? Um, and here's a reference to that Women in Law um, library exhibit at Harvard Business School because they talk there actually about guardianship and whatnot, okay? And widows and wives and that sort of thing. Okay, so, um, so that's what I'm looking for you to do, okay? Um, by the 16th of April, you're, you should draft up four to five annotations that are linked to specific phrases in your letters, okay? You don't have to do everything. You don't have to do all of Lady Susan. You just have to do your letters, right? Um, and then by the following class period, which is the 20th of April, I'm gonna ask everybody to reply to three of your peers' posts, okay? And in your replies, what I want you to do is offer revisions and comments to strengthen each annotation. All right, I will create another little video to show you how to do that, okay? And I'm gonna use mine as an example. I'm gonna show you how I would revise my own um, annotations and what I would say to myself, right? Um, as if I'm acting as you, okay? Um, so these are my draft annotations. Take a look at them. I want you to do the same thing. Just click reply, okay? And you can post your annotations. One thing that I would note, okay, is that you probably want to write your annotations, uh, say, in a Google Doc or on a Word um, uh, document, okay? Just because uh, Canvas might time out, okay? And you don't want that to, to become a problem. Okay, so, um, so this should be fun. I hope that you find some really interesting things that you want to explain for future readers of Lady Susan. Um, let me know if you have questions and I will be of course available to you um, throughout the break, okay? So uh, don't forget to meet with me in your small groups to talk about your annotated bibliography and whatnot, okay? I'll also of course be available for any other questions, but that's, uh, that's a component of the class, okay? All right, uh, let me know if you have any questions and I hope that you get a bit of a uh, time to relax and I will see you next week, okay?